Hi, my name is Mickey Strand. I'm a portrait photographer mostly, and I have two projects, but the project behind me and the one that here for the Photographer of the Month at Nelson's is my Beyond the Cut, which is all biker portraits and trying to look beyond the patch on a person's vest and more into the soul of the person. Uh, there's a little argument about how old I was when I started shooting, so I think it was somewhere between 11 and 12. Uh, my dad was an amateur photographer, he was a school teacher, and we had a little dark room down in the basement in what was also a gun closet. Uh, he shot skeet, and uh, so it was not something that could be sealed up, and we had an enlarger and a couple of sinks and uh, sink lines, and, and uh, I think I helped him shoot a wedding for my aunt when I was 11 years old. My first camera was a hand-me-down from him. When he, we were Minolta shooters back then, and when he bought his X700, um, of which I eventually bought one, um, he gave me his old uh, ST101. Do you still have it? Oh, no. Oh. No. I wish I did, but I do right. still have my first um, X700 and an XGM uh, that I had. So some of the first film cameras that I started using when I became an adult and actually started becoming a, a photographer and, and, and actually shooting production and things like that, I actually still do have those cameras. They're, they're just kind of dust collectors now, but it's nice to have them. Um, I became a member in high school of the yearbook and the photo club and the, there were there were two classes or one class that I was a member of. So I, was, I think I was in, I was in photography uh, in high school. And then I think it was also in yearbook, one of the two or three years. Um, and we ran a dark room there and we actually did color there. Um, and I forget what the machine was. I think it was, I think it was an Ilford image. God, we called it the image smasher. I forget what it actually was called. <laughs> Um, but it was, you know, you loaded chemistry across the top um, and you put a Nikkor reel rack set inside of there and yes. it sat inside of here and rotated and yeah, the chemistry those. came down through and then it spit back out and you could set it up to do C41 or E6. So you could actually do slides right there. Now we only shot, for the most part, we only shot C41, usually like a Kodak Gold 100 or whatever yeah. uh, for the very limited run of color stuff that we did for the yearbook. We, again, shot, shot mostly uh, black and white in the, you know, for the yearbook and for the newspaper for the high school. Maybe Larry actually had called me up and said, or, or had seen some of my work when I was in picking up a piece of gear and said something to the effect of, you know, I really like those biker portraits. How many do you have and do you think you could fill the wall? Um, and I, I said, well, uh, when? And we looked at the calendar and he said, can you fill November? And I knew I had like six in the can and I had about eight months to work. And I said, oh, I can come up with, you know, 12 or 14 or whatever. And I think I had 16 my first year. Um, and the show was a big success. We filled the store with bikers, <laughs> you know, um, and some of which I, I look at that work from four or five years ago and, and some of it I don't even care for anymore um, because of where I'm at now and where my, um, all the training and all the stuff that I look up online and, and really a lot of it is, is experience. I'm, I'm shooting, on average, I'm probably pulling the trigger 50 or 60,000 times a year now. Um, where I was maybe making 10,000 attempts and coming up with 100 good pictures in a year. Now I'm, um, you know, doing just, I, I, I'm a lot more prolific than I ever was in my life. Well, um, thank you. My pleasure. I appreciate you talking to me. Sorry I rambled on. No.